Okay, I'm, now I'm going to show you how to log in to uh, Curriculum Crafter and navigate around a little bit. Uh, so let's we go to curriculumcrafter.org and then click the login. And I'm going to use my teacher login. And I think this should get me in. Yes, it does. And uh, we'll notice here. This is what all, all of our regular teachers with user plus logins have the home the home page and they have uh, these notices here come from Ken ISD and we can scroll down there and you'll notice they list all of the current curriculum that's found in there as of this time. Uh, they they have not quite released probably next week they'll release some new drafts of the uh, the Common Core. Um, but we're going to be working around that today uh, on this August 29th day as we start taking ownership to the curriculum in the writing section. But as we go down through here, we have utilities. I can change my password. And if you do change your password, that's fine. You've got your login, which is your uh, BronsonSchools.org name before that. That's your login name. Mine normally would be Hefner M. Um, and then uh, you can change your password whatever you like and as long as you're just a teacher user plus you can click um, request login and it'll it'll send you a new login for your password next thing is utilities and this is where you can upload documents all teachers working in your departments you can upload documents into the resource file and let's just experiment with this real quickly select the destination curriculum uh, I, I only see Bronson CS and this is what we had in there last year and uh, downloadable files are uh, it, it says to upload documents select appropriate destination column then click on the icon below to begin the process so I'm going to click on the icon it's going to begin the process the most recent version of JavaScript needs to be uh, loaded into your computer and hopefully this is not a problem for us as we work uh, let's see if this uh, dialog box will come up. It says loading. This is going to be a dialog box that will interface with my computer where I can identify a document that I want to upload to the resource document area. And we're waiting. And here we go. And you'll notice that uh, we have uh, a couple of things already here in the Bronson folder and we want to upload a file so when I click this upload here it's now it's going into here and in, into my document library and I found a file that uh, uh, we want to go with uh, just a file as an example <laughs> let's get up here to my desktop uh, I, po I posted some files uh, recently uh, let's just take this uh, Bronson Junior C Senior High School ranking file, which really designates the rewards status that we are. I'm going to click that and click Open. And now see it's, it's uploading it here. And I'm going to insert it. File uploaded successfully. It's called the Bronson Junior C High School ranking file. So now that file is uploaded and we see it located right there. Later, I can allocate where I want it to appear into our system. So the, it's, it's, it's completed now, and uh, we can cancel this. So I've uploaded that into our uh, file system. Later, we should be able to allocate that into a resource folder, uh, probably through the editor's process. Uh, looking on down through here, I have some I have another area called instructional reports and this is where I can start viewing the content and probably the easiest way to go to the content we want to view for today is in what we're working on August 29th is the writing sections of the Common Core ELA so we click on unit have to click my curriculum Bronson CS content area the draft Common Core ELA, we'll change the name of this very soon to just call it our ELA curriculum because we're taking ownership of this area first. 
and the area that we're going to work on, for, uh, we, we can, you can pick the grade level for your team or a department, high school levels. Uh, let's just pick a seventh grade. And we're going to be looking at the riding area of ELA, and that's where we're going to be working from. And here we have uh, text types, purpose, augmentative, writing on down. These are the these line up with the Common Core uh, standards. And uh, what I suggest is for as the team or as the grade level that you click on uh, one of them, and uh, you're going to be reviewing the information that's in here. This is the one unit. This is a unit of instruction on the, the, the learner will write a variety of augment, aug, argumentative type text for different purposes. And, they, and the foundations that we have identified in just about all of, uh, all of this area is uh, been set up for us are these titles, prerequisite vocabulary, new vocabulary that is used. They have project-based learning ideas. We can edit these. If you're an editor, we can take things out. We can put things in. And then you'll notice these are all hotkeyed here. If you move over that, see it does tell you universal design. And here's a common core right here. And then this is the unit, uh, the unit instructional materials. These are the ideas for the lessons of the unit moving down this area here, down through this area. You can see that's quite exhaustive of ideas and lessons and materials that are listed. On the left hand side, concepts and information. Going here is where we click to click here to link to the resource folder. You'll notice here it doesn't say that there's any files in the resource folder. Previously I showed us how to upload a file. The editors can actually tag that file and place it into this area. I need to close this window and that will take me back to the unit of instruction window and then I can close that window and get back to my main curriculum crafter window. So I, where I got to view these was in instructional reports under unit. If, if you are an editor when you open one of these up Right here you'll have the word edit and then you can go in and you've had some training on how to start editing these areas. Once again, let's get back out of here. Back to Curriculum Crafter. And so I've shown you instructional reports. You can also view uh, instructional curriculum by course, but by unit is how we're taking this first approach. We have other things we look at. The communication board, which takes us to uh, a mention of some of the updates. Can I see what they're doing? Training documents. A listing of Common Core PD. Actually, I skipped the training documents. Here's the training documents. There they go. Uh, there's videos that show how to do things, how to edit in curriculum if you have editor's rights. Some training guides for teachers. Training documents for department heads and district administrators. Department heads are really uh, editors, grade level team members that are have been given editing rights. So this is areas where they can receive help. Most all of our teachers are users plus. Some ideas here. So there's quite a bit of support documentation for us on the website. 21st century skills uh, is, uh, there's a section on that. And notice it doesn't look like a link, but this is a link right here. A link that takes you outside of Curriculum Crafter to this topic. Uh, an area about service learning. You see projects that are being added in. In fact, the last time I looked at this, there wasn't very many project-based learning um, 
units designed, but now there are quite a few that have been appearing over the summer. In fact, this has grown significantly. These are not things we have to do. These are things we could consider to do. We could They could be identified in uh, our uh, curriculum that we're developing. Um, um, universal design. There's a link to Smarter Balanced, which Michigan is Smarter Balanced. And quite a bit of resources that they've put together and linked in here for us. A lot of these areas are new, and, and I've, as going over this, I've seen that this has been changing over the summer. And there's a section on assessment literacy. So this has just been a little overview for the basic teacher uh, to give us some guidance. So what we're trying to do on August 29th is, once again, going into Instructional Reports Unit, selecting the BC, Bronson BCS curriculum, and then um, to the what's called the Draft Common Core ELA right now and going directly into one of the grade levels or one of the high school groupings and going to writing because that's what our focus is going and reviewing these units taking notes maybe working with the editor things you say yeah that's good no that's not but notice when we cut things out, we need to put things in that would address those uh, Common Core State standards. And so whatever is worked on, I will be posting those into the new curriculum in the near future when I get the download from Kent ISD. Thank you.